Wilson Disease Center of Excellence at Yale is a multidisciplinary group that's designated by the Wilson's Disease Association as a center of excellence where we bring expertise for the care of patients with Wilson disease, both from a diagnostic and treatment aspect, as well as conduct research and care of our patients. We're located at the Yale Physician Building and around the Yale New Haven Medical Center in Connecticut. Wilson disease is a rare disorder of copper metabolism affecting about 1 in 30,000 individuals in all populations, and it is present at birth, being a, an inherited disorder. However, it often manifests only in early childhood or later in adolescence as liver disease, and many patients who present later on in their 20s or 30s may have neurologic or psychiatric aspects of their disease. There are about 5% of individuals who have very severe acute liver failure, and those patients will present often at transplant centers. Clinical trials are critical to advance our field. We need to enter these patients and follow them, answer many of the questions that have been unanswered over the years, as well as fill unmet needs for our patients. We're currently one of several sites around the world that are involved in a new clinical trial using an agent tetrathiomolybdate for the treatment of Wilson disease, especially focusing on new patients and whether or not this agent can eliminate the neurologic worsening that can occur during initiation of therapy, as well as provide a, a single day dosing for treatment of Wilson disease. The importance of pediatric hepatology cannot be understated. These are our first-line colleagues for early detection of Wilson disease and help quite often in family screening when an individual is identified, as well as provide care and, and treatment for our very young patients. We take an integrative approach. We assess their growth, their development, and we assess how this affects the entire family. In families where we have identified Wilson's disease, it's extremely important to surveil other family members for the disease. We have excellent therapies to prevent complications long term. So we use clinical, biochemical, and DNA testing in order to identify Wilson's disease. Psychiatry is a very important uh, discipline for patients with Wilson disease because there's a large unrecognized amount of mental health problems that may occur as the disease advances. And it's very important to utilize the services of a trained psychiatrist who understands this so that patients can achieve appropriate symptomatic treatment as well as diagnosis. Up to 70% of patients with Wilson's disease will experience some psychiatric symptoms at some point in their life. About a third of patients with Wilson's disease who have psychiatric symptoms improve with chelation therapy or with zinc, so with only treatment for Wilson's disease. The rest of them uh, often benefit from psychiatric treatment, which can be psychiatric medications or psychotherapy. In many of our patients with neurologic uh, disease due to their Wilson disease, there's disability due to tremor or dystonia, and our movement disorder specialists can help us both with diagnostics as well as interventions to help improve the quality of life of these patients. The neurological treatment of Wilson's disease includes the treatment of the underlying metabolic disorder itself, but it also includes targeted treatments for the particular involuntary movements. So if the patient has dystonia, we can treat them with medications that lessen the dystonia. If they have tremor, we can treat them with medications that can lessen the tremor. When medical therapy is no longer an option for patients, when uh, they are too advanced and the liver is failing or they present with acute liver failure, our transplant surgeons are critical as members of our team to help move the patient forward towards liver transplantation, which is curative for Wilson disease. We do two types of transplantations, and one what we call disease donor liver transplantations. And someone dies, families are altruistically donate the organs, and there's a national waiting list, and it's a fair system 
that we can share the organs uh, among transplant candidates. The other transplant is what we call living donor liver transplantations. Living donor liver transplantation, especially setting of acute liver failure, is really important and life-saving for patients with Wilson's diseases. We feel that this is really the right time to form a network in the United States, and we're calling this the Wilson Disease Coordinated Network. And we have been working with multiple centers around the country to set up a network that will promote the trial for treatment for Wilson disease as well as create other aspects that are important for care and future trials such as creating a registry, creating a repository. All of these things are going to help and benefit future patients. The major aims of the Wilson disease cooperative network are one, to lead the medical research and innovation for Wilson disease diagnostics, treatment, and cure. Two, to create best care models for the spectrum of patients affected by Wilson disease. The spectrum is from hepatic all the way to neuropsychiatric. And three, to consolidate resources and create collaborations, and most importantly, strategic partnerships amongst public, private, and nonprofit sectors for promotions of efforts to achieve better patient outcomes. The future is very bright. Uh, we hope to have a cure for Wilson disease, perhaps by genetic therapy someday. In the meantime, new innovations, new medications, clinical trials to test them, as well as to integrate the care and diagnostics that have really come on the scene within the last decade or so, really are are going to impact patients' lives in a very positive way.